Hi all, Karthik here from Design School by WP Algorithm. We just hit 5,000 subscribers on YouTube. I'm really glad for that. Thank you everyone who believed in the vision of Design School. But when in no way slowing down, things are getting pretty serious and you'll be learning more and more advanced things on the channel. So stay tuned for that. In this video, we'll discuss about advanced custom field pros, clone field. Clone field is again a special kind of field found in advanced custom field pro version. Now, what exactly does it do? Well, I'll explain that with an example. So here I've created a field group called author info and it has a field called author and it's a repeater. And within that I have a, another repeater or nested repeater called books. I've shown this in the previous video where we've designed templates for our nested repeaters using dynamic content for Elementor without writing any code. Now I've clearly mentioned the rules that this field group should appear in the post type called post. That's great. Now what if I want to basically show or basically create a separate field group for books, right? So I just want all the fields exactly in the same way that I have for this books repeater maybe for a custom post type called books or reviews we have a custom post type called reviews don't worry about custom post types we'll discuss about them later but let's say i just want this books repeater field to be shown here so instead of creating the whole repeater field and each and every subfield in this repeater field i can simply use clone field so clone field essentially will duplicate a field group from one field group or it will duplicate fields from one field group to another without creating another instance or another copy it's basically pointing to the same thing i'll explain what it means in a bit so let's say i'll create a new field group called books so i'll just click on add new and we'll just call this field group books i'll click on add field instead of creating the fields required for the books repeater field we can simply use clone field and using the clone field we'll just get this repeater i'll show you how that works so i'll say books or i'll say book info it doesn't matter what you use under field type i'll scroll down and i'll choose clone so once you choose clone it will ask you to pick the fields that you want i'll just click here and it you can basically pick all the fields from every other field group but what I'm really interested are the book fields or the book repeater so I'll just click on books repeater now you don't see anything here but it will essentially copy all the fields within this repeater field and I'll change from post to review post type I'll hit publish I'll leave everything as is now when we go to the reviews post type I'll just click on add review and when I scroll down you see the books field and when I click on add row it has all the variables or the fields within that book repeater field it's exactly the same as this repeater field except that we didn't create it from the scratch we rather just cloned it just by using this clone field so that's the sole purpose of clone field. Clone field can be used to clone any field. It can also be used to clone another repeater, another nested repeater or whatever. You can clone each and every field in another field group and you can see it just creates all the subfields within the group. So let's say I just want to just clone a few more fields. I'll click on add new. I'll maybe say author. And I'll again pick clone field from here. Let's say I just want to copy the author information or I just want the fields for the author. I'll click here and you can see I can pick all the fields from author group. I can pick the author repeater or I can simply pick his name and bio. That's more than enough. I'll hit update again. Now if I refresh this page, since we set this to show up on the post type called review, when I 
try to add a new review I can see this and you can see when I click on add row the books itself is a repeater field name and bio are again being copied or cloned from the author info clone field now clone field has a problem you cannot use two clone fields within the same field group what if you do let's find out I'll just delete this I'll hold down shift and click on delete that will be deleted so let's say I just want to use two clone fields or two subfields using the clone field this clone field is essentially cloning all the repeater field and all the subfields within the books repeater that's great let's create another clone field I'll just call it books2 just to, just to make sure that it's again books I'll click on text I'll click on clone again I'll clone the same fields which are essentially the books repeater field and I'll hit update you should never do this and I'm just doing this to show you what happens when you do now I'll refresh this page once again it's a reviews page click on add new review everything works or looks seems to work great right so let's enter some data I'll call it book 1 price 199 unit sold 1000 that's great let's enter different data for this book 3 299 2000 right okay I'll just call it ACF clone I'll hit publish now I said I you shouldn't use two same clone fields within the same field group but we just did nothing seems to happen right now if I refresh the page watch what happens we fill two different data within this but when we refresh it you will see both the data is overridden with the second data that's because clone field has conflicts so you should not clone same items within the field group since we cloned the same field twice it's essentially pointing to the same field group and when you do cloning of a field or a repeater field or subfields it, it will not create new fields in the database but rather it will just take those fields and put it here it's just a neat way of optimizing things for you and also optimizing things for performance since both of them are essentially the same fields the data even though you, I entered different data in it it's essentially overridden because it's essentially the same field and you cannot enter different data in the same field so that's what it means so you should never use clone fields two clone fields two same clone fields under the field group or you should not use the original field group and its clone field group under the same field group hopefully it made sense books we are just cloning the books repeater from the author info I again cloned it again using the same clone field since clone field doesn't create new fields it just points to the same field group or same subfields even though I entered different data it's being overridden and only one piece of data is shown in both the clone fields so there are a couple of things to note while using clone fields you should never clone same things twice within a field group since both of them are essentially cloning books repeater field even if you fill different data it will be overridden by one of the clone fields so don't use the same clone field or don't clone the same set of fields twice within a field group that's point number one. Second thing you should not use clone field within the field group that you're actually cloning from I'm actually cloning from the author field group and I should not create another field here called books copy that actually clones books repeater and that's not going to work either because it's again pointing to the same clone field it's not creating new field so those are a couple of things to remember but anyway you can clone any kind of field with clone field it can be a repeater it can be a normal field it can be basically anything else I can also clone subfields within a repeater so I'll say author data or author info here again I'll scroll down click on field type I'll pick clone again and once I pick clone I can pick subfields of a repeater field 
I'll scroll down. This is author info field group. I can choose to clone all the fields. I don't want all the fields. I just need author name and bio. Since the fields themselves are not repeaters, these are basically text fields and text area fields. Those fields will be created. I'll update this. Now, if, if I refresh this, you'll see that the repeater field along with the couple of author fields is also available here, just like that. And you can see there's no repeater of name and bio. Even though name and bio are subfields of the repeater field called author, since we cloned them, clone field clones and knows what kinds of fields they are, and it puts them in the books field group which is essentially showing up in the review post type. So that's clone field in a nutshell. It can be basically any field. And once you clone the fields and once you know what kinds of fields you cloned, if it's a repeater, you know how to work with repeater and nested repeaters using dynamic content plugin. Well, if it's any other field, well, you can use Elementor Pro and pull in the field data and stuff like that. You can also use ACF frontend forms. So that's ACF Pro's clone field in a nutshell. Hopefully it made sense. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you loved it, subscribe so you see more like these. I'll talk to you in the next one. Peace.